Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sevea Eras and I am so excited that we have surpassed 500, 500 of you guys. Thank you so much for the love. I've gotten so many comments. I've replied to each and every one of you guys. I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much. This is becoming so big. This is a reality to me. It has been in my head. Now it's just coming to life, you know? And I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. It was yesterday and I got all teary and excited and screaming and shouting. So thank you so much. video today is all about secrets to little small hacks that I use to make my oversized clothes fit better or to style them better. Remember what this channel is all about. It's about fashion and style and how to use creativity to elevate your style. If you have not subscribed, I ask that you please consider subscribing after you watch this video or now. It's up to you and I would prefer for you to do it now. <laughs> but if you do enjoy this content, I ask that you please subscribe. That's, all, that's the least you can do and I would appreciate that. All right, so let's get into this video. Before I get into this video, I wanna tell you guys that I'll be going to New York this weekend. If you know a little something about me or you've read my bio, you know that in October of last year, October 22nd, something major happened in my life and um, that really turned my world upside down. So going to New York is really bittersweet, you know, so. Ooh. So, by the time that you're watching this, I might be in New York already. I may have been in New York. I may be in New York. So, I would like to take you guys along with me to do some vlogging and let me know if you are totally interested in what you're actually interested in seeing. Here I'm starting off with an oversized men's jacket blazer. I use a safety pin on the inside. I will use a large safety pin on the outside, which is in the link below. I am an affiliate with Amazon, by the way. And I am creating a cinch look with that, which can easily be achieved instead of the regular belt, especially it's linen. I want to keep it wrinkled free. And here you can create an asymmetrical look by mismatching the buttons in the keyholes. Always remember that when you are wearing something big, you want to create a proportion, a balance by not using something that is also big on the bottom. And if you do use something big, just make sure that you have a good cinch weight, that you are showing some skin. Maybe you can roll up your sleeve just to make sure that you create a good proportion, a good balance. Always remember to remove the tacks that are holding your vents in your skirts and your jackets, your dresses, to remove them before you wear them. Famous oversized dress. We all love them, but sometimes when we don't feel like wearing an oversized dress, you can use this hack simple. You can use three lightweight bangles. I'm using wood bangles, that's what I had. So you use what you have. Remember, always use what you have. So I am using three clean hair ties. Target has a lot of small hair ties. You can pick them up from any, anywhere. I'm putting the bangle on the outside of the dress and I'm using the hair tie on the inside and I'm tying it or wrapping it around the bangle, which is giving it another totally different look. It's bringing the fabric, gathering it in. So it makes the fabric, the dress smaller as a whole. Now. Once you're done with that, it looks like a totally different dress and it's a much more structured on me, it's loose, it's sexy, and remember that you should always use what you have first. If you do have a dress that is big, try it with that. And if you don't have a hair, uh, a bangle, always use a hair tie. Just tie it from the bottom of the inside of the dress. Make sure that you tie it tight enough, tie it as many times as you'd like. Use as many hair ties as you'd like and you ha would have a totally different look. And you don't have to always use it on a big dress. This is a slimmer dress, however, it's shapeless on me. With no hips, <laughs> I'm using it. I'm just pinching the fabric the, of the dress and doing the same exact thing. And there you go, totally different look.
Guys, the oversized pants, we know that it's really big again with the suits, relaxed suits for men this season. I'm using the same oversized pin from Amazon. I know I love safety pins. I consider myself the queen of safety pins. I carry them everywhere. I feel as if they are life-saving. Please have one in your pocketbook. <laughs> So I'm pinning it through the loops, creating a cinch factor here. It's a bit weird, but I like it. I ended up swapping out the white tee for this instead. If I had a white racer back, it would be perfect for this look because it creates that, again, that balance showing skin. My pants are a little big on the bottom and long. It would create a good balance. Would you try this? I know it's a little weird, but I'm all about the weird factor, guys. I love this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The oversized men's shirt would be ideal for the ne next look. However, I did not do it because this needs a video on its own because there are infinite ways that you can style that. Let me know if you're interested in me doing a video all about styling the oversized men's shirt. You know, we all love a good summer knit. This, I picked it up from Target and I'm using the same safety pin. I'm putting the fabric through the through the center. I'm not pinning it, I'm only pinning it on the last pleat right there. There you go, pin, and a totally new look. It gives it a totally different shape, and I will do the same thing on the side, the same thing on the back, which you will see later. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Also, check out my video for the Christopher John Rogers dress and all the hacks and tips that I shared. Watch it, you will love it. This look, I wish I had pinned the pin a little bit higher just to give my waist a little bit more definition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and follow me on social media. Till next time, guys. Thank you so much for being here and supporting. Love you guys. Bye.